In this example, we are going to see how to minimize a logic expression uh, starting from a sum of product or from a product of sums. The whole point is that if we reach a minimal exp expression for the function, from the minimal expression we will obtain a minimal circuit. And a minimal circuit will save uh, resources. We we'll, can do it with uh, fewer devices and with, with more simple devices. So we start with the with the and this method more or less is the method introduced by Queen and McCluskey, but we will see it in a, in a slightly simplified way. So we start with the sum of min terms in this case because we want to obtain a minimal sum of products and the idea is that we can use the um, boolean algebra properties to simplify this expression we may apply several theorems to do that but with this method we do it systematically so we really get the most simple or one of the most simple possible expressions for the for the function so if we have a function with this list of min terms this would be the expression corresponding to these min terms min term 0 1 and so on we start by checking all the possible simplifications we can make using the min terms basically what we use here is the reduction theorem that says that x y plus x complemented y is equal to y. So it means that if I have an expression and I have one part, in this case one literal, that repeats with and without complement, I can eliminate both terms or I can collapse both terms into a more simple term where the changing literal does not exist. So we start by making all the comparisons. Start with min term 1 and min term 2 and actually we see that the only they have the same literals they are exactly the same except for the D so I can write a new term that will be a complemented B complemented C complemented that this is the sum of min terms 0 and min term 1 okay this is min term 0 min term 1 and so on so this term includes these two min terms. When I say include, I mean that this is the addition of these two min terms. So this is actually a simplification. I may now forget about these two min terms and just include this term. I eliminate one term and the new term is actually more simple. But we have to check all the possible simplifications. Okay, this could be min term 4. I write the index of the min terms. This is min term. Uh, this is min term 9. This is 1, 0, 1, 1, min term 11, min term 13, and min term 15. Okay, so now I now we compare min term 0 to min term 4. We see that. Again, there's only one literal that changes, B complemented and B here. So I can apply the reduction theorem again. And I can add these two min terms and get A complemented, C complemented, D complemented. Okay? This is the addition of min term 0 and min term 4. Okay, we'll continue min term 0 and min term 9. This cannot be simplified because we need that they differ in just one literal. Okay, they are, here there are two literals that are different, so we cannot apply the reduction theorem. We go on and check min term 0 and min term 11, they cannot be simplified, min term 13 cannot be simplified, and min terms 15 either. Okay, so we have checked now all the possible simplifications of min term 0 against any other min term. I have to do it, we have to do it for all the possible pairs of min terms. So now we start with min term 1. 
I already compared the min term 0, so I compare from here down and min term 1 and min term 4 uh, they differ in more than one literal so they cannot be simplified 1 and 9 they only differ in the A so this can be simplified as B complemented, C complemented D this is the addition of min term 1 and 9 all these expressions we are calculating here are called implicants because implicants include more than one min term okay? and we say that this implicant covers min term 0 and min term 1 okay? it's simply a way to say that this implicant is the uh, product term that is equal to the, uh, pr the addition of product term 1 and 9, min terms 1 and 9 Okay, now I check 1 against uh, 11, it cannot be simplified, 1 against 13 cannot be simplified, they differ in more than one literal, and 1 against 15 cannot be simplified either. Okay, I'm done with meter 1, now I check meter 4. 4 against 9, there are two literal differences, 4 against 11, two differences, 4 against 13, mm, uh, there are more than one literal differences. So, min term 4 cannot be simplified further with uh, the rest of the matrix. Now, 9. 9, ele 9 and 11 only differ in min term C, so I have A, B complemented D. A, B complemented D, which covers min term. And 9 and min term 11. Great. Now, min term 11 and min term 13 can also be simplified. The only differ in, term in literal B. So it's uh, A, C complemented D, which is the addition of 9, min term 9 and 13. Okay. Now, 9 and 15 cannot be simplified. So I'm done with min term 9. Now, min term 11, here there are two differences, can be simplified, but 11 and 15 can be simplified. They only differ in B. So there's A, C, D term which sums 11 and 15. Okay. I'm done with this. Now, uh, the only remaining comparison is uh, min term 13 and 15. They can be simplified again. Okay, this is <coughs> uh, C is the only difference, so I have ABD, ABD, that includes min term 13 and 15. Okay, so the whole idea now is that because this min term, I already have it in another term which is more simple, I don't need this min term anymore. I can use this term, this uh, implicant, better than the min term. It includes the min term, but it's also more simple, a more simple uh, product. So this way I will cross all the min terms that are already considered in these implicants, in these more simple terms. Actually, all min terms uh, are covered by more simple terms, so I can eliminate. So in building an expression, a simplified expression for my function, I can do it in a more simple way by using these terms. Even I don't need to use all of them, just enough of them to have all the min terms in my expression. But I'm not finished yet because maybe I can further simplify some of these terms. So I start comparing again. I compare everyone against each other and I can simplify again only when they have the same literals and there's a difference only in one literal okay so I make all the comparisons again ABC ACD so this cannot be simplified a, I find another one with ABC 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 they are known so this first one cannot be simplified now ACD ACD, I have this, this has 
ACD, but there are more than one literal difference. Okay, here ACD, but there's also more than one literal difference in comparing. I've already compared these, and now I go for this one. So it cannot be simplified either. Now the next one is this one, BCD, BCD, BCD. So no one shares the same uh, literals. Now I have ABD, ABD here. So here I can make a simplification. I have ABD, and the only different literal is B. So I can sum them in a new term, AD, that will include this term and this term. So it, this uh, new term, this new implicand, includes mean terms 9, 11, and 13, and 15. That's great. I have a very simple term that uh, includes many mean terms. Okay, now. I check this one, ACD, ACD, again, I can simplify here. I have AD, that is mean term 9, 11, 13, and 15. Actually, this simplification gives the same term, so I don't have to repeat the term. Okay, I have written to uh, do that. So, and this one, this one cannot be simplified. Okay, again, okay. now this one and this one cannot be simplified, and I have checked everything. Now, again, because I have this term, which is more simple and already includes, includes 9 and 11, I can forget about this term here. I don't need this term anymore. I have these mean terms here. And it, it includes 9 and 13 as well. So I don't need to use these terms. Okay, This is a better alternative. 11 and 15 is also here. and. 13 and 15 is also here. And I'm finished because I cannot compare now this one with any other equivalent uh, term because I only have one. So I have said the, all these terms are, are implicants. In this column we have first order implicants. Okay? Actually, these implicants that are not included in other uh, higher order implicants, these are second order implicants, okay. these, are, these are called prime implicants. The ones that I have not crossed are prime implicants. It means implicants that cannot be further simplified. So this one, this one, this one, this one are prime implicants, right? And now this is the key point. These implicants or these terms here are the most simple terms that I can calculate with the original expression of the function. Okay, so the minimal expression for my function will need to be uh, built using these terms. Any other possible term I have already considered and I have already simplified. Okay, so. The expression for my function we will build by adding up those terms. We actually don't need to add all of them, maybe yes, maybe not, but maybe some, uh, some terms are necessary. Okay, uh, to, to see that, I will check which, which mean terms they cover, for example. This term covers 0 and 1, but 0 is also covered here, and 1 is also covered here. Okay, So this uh, implicant, this prime implicant, is not essential. We say it's not essential because the mean terms it covers, the mean terms it includes, are also included by, by other prime implicants. Okay? So I'm, I will try to find if we have essential prime implicants. It, mean, it means prime implicants which cover mean terms that are not in other prime implicants. And it happens with the second one. This covers mean term 4, but it's the only one covering mean term 4. So I will mark this one. This is an essential uh, prime implicant because it covers mean term 4. 
So I'm sure that in my expression I will have to include this prime implicand. If not, mean term 4 will not be in my function. Okay, so I will it will be a different function to the one I have. So that's great. The rest of them mean term 9 is here, but it's also here. And mean term 1 is also here, so it's not essential. And the, in this term, mean term 13 and 15 are only here, so this is also a, a prime implicant that is essential because of mean term 13, for example. Okay, So I will also have to add this term here. This expression now already includes all these mean terms and all these mean terms. The only missing mean terms here are mean term 1, okay, which is in this term and is also in this term. So to have an expression that has the same mean terms that my original function, so to have an exp equivalent expression for my, for my function, I need to add either this term or this term. Now we apply some cost criteria because the two terms are first of their prime implicants, they have three literals, there's not much of a difference, but because this has uh, fewer complements, I will prefer this one. Okay, so I add this one, B complement, C complement, but it's not much of a difference, I could have used it as well. It depends if I really need to say some complements or not. Okay. It's not much of a difference because uh, I already have to uh, calculate or to to calculate the components for A, C, and uh, and D. So it doesn't make any difference. I may use this option or I say optionally I could have used this one, but I don't really need both of them. So any of this expression this plus this plus this or this plus this plus this would be two minimal sum of products for f okay so this is not a very rigorous uh, demonstration but uh, it can be demonstrated that uh, there's does not exist uh, any other expression that has fewer terms or more simple terms because of the way we have implemented the method. So that's it, thank you.